Oh, hey, uh, Greg Johnson. You've been attacking my character publicly and uh, behind my back for close to a year now. Uh, considering we're neighbors here in Budapest, uh, how about I buy you a latte at Starbucks and you could say all these things to my face? Uh, what do you think? So says writes Daniel Freeberg only on June the 15th um, yesterday. Now, as much as I don't like Facebook drama, uh, this is a very important thing. Previously, I was talking about how this relationship between Daniel Freeberg and Greg Johnson is bad. It's bad on the fact that you have two major figures fighting over frivolous reasons and personality conflict, and you really don't need this in order to get ideals across. But this, uh, I guess this Facebook controversy, if you want to call it that, has me considering different viewpoints. Um, because what exactly happened right after that was that Greg Johnson um, deleted his Facebook account, and now that's an uproar. Either that he maybe felt he was more stalked, or that he was getting hate mail, victim of cyberbullying, you know, or he wants to be anonymous, which is pretty understandable, but to the point where uh, Daniel confronts this, uh, Greg's not a gentleman about it, and I guess uh, he has to delete his uh, Facebook in order to, you know, invade from that. I, once again, I really don't know what Daniel is really like, or what Greg is feeling, and what, you know, what are these things that are triggering? I don't know. But, uh, of course, if there was an annoying person following me, of course, I would be at the point where it's like, ah, uh, you're, you're a bunch of kooky, crazy people, and, uh, you know, but uh, I don't know Daniel Freeberg, but I know he looks like, from what I understand, a nice person, or at least intelligent person. Um, now, reading over some other Facebook comments, um, here we have a comment from Eli Mosley. Greg Johnson blocked me from social media and all events he attends because he was jealous I'm friends with Spencer. Could you think of a gayer, more petty thing to do? Meanwhile, he brags that he helped create me behind closed doors. What a faggot! <laughs> well, again, Eli Mosley is taking it a little. I'm once again. I think of Greg Johnson as a friend, but um, I, I'm not mean at all to him. And so there are people like Mosley who are just mad at uh, Johnson's behavior. Some even like Forney has called him Grinder Greg Johnson, as if he has a Grinder Tinder. Um, let's see what Richard Wolfencroft says. A good way to put a weaker male in his place is to bitch slap him. They don't expect it. It's humiliating. And they can cry to the cops like one fella did I educate. Won't get the shit over. The cops and I laughed about it. Please, I stand with you on this matter. <laughs> well, I kind of know Richard on the podcast, so... Um. <laughs> but again, this is... Uh, Richard's getting into this conversation. And, uh... Let's see. Uh, people are making fun of Gehrig's gay orientation... Well, again, if he's, you know, gay, Greg never said this openly. It's all just rumors. But if Greg really is gay, he has to be, you know, make a public statement about it. But he never has. And I'm pretty sure, one, maybe he's not gay. Maybe he's just MGTOW with a little feminine flair. <laughs> Don't mean to make fun of you, Greg. But um, you know, there are a lot of logical reasons not to be open about being gay because of PR reasons. But um, personally, I think... I think it's better to be an open gay white nationalist. But um, uh, along these arguments, Daniel Furrybar has another comment saying, Wow, that was the quickest block I've ever received. Uh, Iran Kassil, could you please ask Greg to unblock me so that we can discuss this like grown men? Uh, I mean, individuals. I wouldn't want to misgender anyone here. And um, I, I had to chime in with my own comments on Facebook, actually, about this uh, situation. When I first heard it, I wrote, uh, so, are you going to beat Greg Johnson up? Cry face. And Daniel Fieber kindly respond back to me by writing, of course not. I would never hit a woman or non-binary person. Wait, and wink. And now I guess there's this great uh, thing Daniel Freeberg will even go as so far to say that Greg's gay, or at least insulting him or making fun of him to that matter, you know. So this is a lot of heat going on. Um, uh, you know, this is the, let's see, Colin, Colin Liddell writes, 
After publishing about 50 of my articles or so, after I've received two of his books rather positively elsewhere, Greg blocked me too. Seems to be a habit of his. Nobody denies his talents, but they are now overweight by his character flaws. For this reason, I would advise all counterculture's supporters to think seriously about contributing to support the CC project. Sorry about my Scottish accent. Um, and again, Daniel Freeberg going, Here, here, the fact that Countercurrence needs to beg for $60,000 per year to sustain the operation, even after being in business for seven years, as compared to Octos, who uh, started at the same time, never needed to beg for donations. <laughs> says, it says a lot about his business sense and whether it's really sensible to continue giving life support to a business which has failed so utterly. Maybe the donations are better invested elsewhere. Just an idea. Some of CSC's donations are well spent. They went to me, Colin Liddell writes. Well, I uh, support Countercurrents and I buy books and I donate to Countercurrents because I love Greg's project and what he does. That's personally me. I. I spend money on projects because I think these things do work. But to this point where everybody's very um, hostile, you know, typical stuff from Matt Forney, but uh, uh, Richard Wolfencroft says um, about how this, I think this, this Wolfencraft quote pretty much sums it up. What was it with this all alt-right and fighting? Solidary... <laughs> Solidary Command should be called in general. Clear he's being acting obnoxious though, but I have enjoyed past writings from him on his page. To me, if someone cut in our space, to me that has only been of or two cranks. One should part company politely and silently as possible. Sometimes it's unavoidable. Um well Yeah. I think this is a very and also, by the way, Daniel Freeberg says that he hates infighting as well. So what is my uh, opinion on this matter? Um, I find it... Okay, well, first of all, of course, Freiburg never intended to fight him. That is... Uh, it seems to me that... Um... Anything else I can... Uh, oh, well. Well, here's the thing. Um, it, it, it's, 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 it's some this infighting, which I think is, of course, bad, and everyone knows it, but I think the, this issue needs to be publicly addressed. And, um, you know, personally, in my own internet relationships, uh, there are people who you could say I debated or talked to that, not that I don't get along with, it's just sometimes I feel that for PR reasons, if I was to associate with certain people, uh, there would be certain conflict matters. You know, there are personality conflicts for legitimate reasons. Um, such as uh, such issues like uh, there was a time with uh, Hank Yu. Um, Hank Yu being the troll he is, you know, going out. I love him as a character, but it just doesn't reference myself and my whole uh, project I do on the internet. And so you just have to calmly tell people why this and this is, you know, not right in a, in a matter. But no hard feelings. I look at everyone as, you know, a great asset and contribution to things and also friends. Um, but for Greg Johnson's case, whether you want to call him, I guess, the classical liberal problematic or, you know, eccentric, um, personally, I like Greg. I, I don't think there's, um, I find him as an interesting character. You have to get to know him one-on-one. -on -one. But I will say there are behaviors that are very, um, sometimes that get annoying with other people, especially with, for Daniel Freeberg's case. I do trust Greg on the matter, and it might be, Again, I don't know Freeberg. I, I don't know what he practices and what he's like. But I find that Greg does have legitimate reasons to feel uh, this, you know, hostility or at least criticism or hostility towards Daniel and even Spencer. And so I would like to know that publicly and more opened. But, um, of course, Greg mostly writes on, you know, the, the Facebook pages or the, the forms about it in secret and not really open because he wants to put these things under the rug as, you know, petty matters. But um, that's legitimate. But um, I'm saying is, I guess I feel I see Daniel's side, but I would really like to understand more of Greg's sides on the matter of the issue. And hopefully, um, 
this this wound that has been really bad against Greg, I feel is really bad. If I was Greg Johnson, this this might sound a little weird. Um, I would say for the gay claim, Greg has to come out either as being openly gay or not gay, and just say his whole sexual history, like a whole. And if he is gay, hell, I'm a proudful gay white nationalist. I know that can harm PR for a good amount of reasons, but uh, it's better to be open, like how I'm open about being Asian Aryan. Uh, if he's not gay, which I know Greg Johnson in the past has wrote saying he's not gay, he wrote it on such old websites like uh, VNN, he, he, he says it openly, right? You don't need to have, at least that there's some article about it. I mean, it's also legitimate too to be bi as well. That's, that's fine to be bisexual, but... Um, and also, uh, I think there needs to be um, a, a, a coherent, maybe, you know, I, I don't like apology. I think everyone has their own intention, what they do. So I think it's more um, a, a statement of intent or some kind of um, just open letters, but it shouldn't be hostility, you know. Yes, I, I just hope this uh, issue uh, with Freeberg and Johnson kind of rolls over, and I hope there's no damage between these two movies, as Countercurrents is my favorite website to go to, and the most eccentric and the most interesting and hardcore of all the classical New Right studies. Um, it's a unique piece of art, and it needs to be conserved, I think, of that.